Number 31, this is Michael Woods. He is the team leader for Education First. And this will be big in the career of Michael Woods. Hey everyone, I'm Ian Dilley, and this is a story about the improbable ascent of Michael Woods. At Flow Sports, we've covered Woods from the beginning. In 2008, my colleagues at Flow Track interviewed Woods when he was a runner at the University of Michigan. Geez, if we don't make nationals this year, it's gonna be, uh, there's gonna be some major, major changes need, we need to be made. As a teenager, Woods was one of the best middle distance runners in the world. At just 18 years old, he ran a sub four minute mile and he won the Junior Pan American Championships in the 1500 meters. But a recurring stress fracture and multiple surgeries hampered Woods as a miler. When he was injured, he would steal his dad's bike and go on rides to help clear his mind. In 2012, he began to start bike racing and he started picking up the sport's tactical nuances. I'm fortunate enough to come from uh, an area in Ottawa, in Canada, where there's a nice small cycling scene where there are there's a, a local ride every Tuesday. And in those races that I did when I was coming up, you just learn to, to race often and you learn to just ping, ping off another guy. Woods also found a coach whose advice would ultimately change his life. I have a coach named Paula Saldana who uh, saw my numbers right away and was like, dude, quit your job. We can make you a pro cyclist. Woods became a domestic pro in 2014, and by 2015, he'd placed second overall at the Tour of Utah. In 2016, at age 29, Woods signed with the World Tour team, now known as EF Education First. In the World Tour, Woods found immediate success, placing fifth overall at the Tour Down Under. But he also struggled with bike handling and positioning. I went home and I bought a Cannondale Habit, which is an awesome mountain bike with a dropper seat post, and just shredded for like three weeks, super hard, like on the like taking doing the most technical trails I possibly could, and it dramatically improved my descending skills. Woods, I gotta say, his descending skills have improved quite a bit, Matt. As Woods' skills developed, he also had to learn how to lead in the World Tour. I found there's a real turning point for me at the Vuelta last year. I was sitting behind eight guys completely selling out for me who all thought they were going to be out of a job next year. Like maybe if they weren't selling out, maybe they could get an, an individual result that could salvage their careers, but instead doing this all for me and just thinking, man, I can't screw this up. And I didn't win that day, but I had a really good race. I came third, Froome won, Chavez was second, uh, and you know, I, I really executed from a positioning perspective and I, I had the best, I did some of the best numbers I've ever done on a bike in order to get that, that result. And after that it was like this weight was lifted off my shoulders. It's one thing to be able to put out those numbers and it's a completely different thing to actually execute them in the races. In 2018, Woods delivered on his talent in a big way. He placed second at Liege Baston Liege and scored a podium in stage four of the Giro d'Italia. It was his victory in stage 14 of the Vuelta a España that proved to be the biggest and also the most emotionally moving win of Woods' career. Now it's Woods. Woods is going. Michael Woods with just a few hundred meters to go. He's got the gap. He's sucking in while oxygen remains. It's over now because Woods gets there. I mean, it's hard to describe. I, I won. There's so many people uh, on the side of the road today just screaming my name. And uh, my director of Wamau was on the radio in the, in the last 500 meters. He, he just said, do this for your family. Um, my wife and I, we... Uh, we lost, uh, my wife had a stillbirth uh, two months ago. We lost a little guy, his name was Hunter, and the whole time I was just going up the climb, I was thinking of him, and I wanted to win so bad for him. And I did it, I, I did it. Very well done, thank you. Thank you. 
That is a stage and a post-race interview that will live with me forever. That is one of those moments that you'll never forget. Ah, uh, what a victory. Just like he'd done as a kid, riding his dad's bike to deal with the emotional pain of not being able to run, would use riding as a form of catharsis following the loss of his son. I think now I'm, I'm starting to believe that I can win and at most races that I'm at and, uh, and uh, you know that, 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 that goes a long way obviously I'm not going to win every race and I'm not going to be in contention at every race but when I train super hard and when I know I'm fit uh, I have as good a shot as anybody. Woods followed up his victory in Spain with a third place finish at the World Championships proving that without a doubt he's now one of the best racers in the entire world.